Okay, today in this video, I'm going to go over using the click command and auto hotkey. I'm showing here the auto hotkey help file. It gives you a little bit of an idea of what the click command does. Click will click a mouse button at specified coordinates. It can hold down a mouse button, turn the mouse wheel, or move the mouse. And then it shows some examples of common usages. I'm going to go ahead and open up our folder here. We're going to create a new auto hotkey script. We're going to name this click demo. I'm going to go ahead and right click this. I'm going to edit this. First thing I'm going to do is wipe out all the stuff that comes with it. I'm going to type numpad div colon colon click and then return. We put these all on separate lines. Numpad div is our hotkey. This is the division symbol on the number pad. These two colons let the script know that when we press number pad div to trigger our hotkey, our hotkey is going to fire whatever script is after those two colons, which in this case is the word click. And then return lets our hotkey know that it's finished and to return and to wait for a new button press. We're going to save this. We're going to run it. We know that it's running because there's a small auto hotkey symbol down in the system tray now that shows the words click demo.ahk when we hover over it. I'm going to use as our example a game called Cookie Clicker for us to click the cookie with our new script. So I'm going to press the division symbol on the number pad now. As you can see, each time I press it, I register one more click on the big cookie. If I would like to click more than once, I can add comma 10 to click. Now, when I reload this, so I've reloaded the script to have the most recent version with our comma 10, which I saved. When I press the division symbol, each time I will get 10 clicks instead of the one click that I originally had. Now if I want this to click on this cookie no matter where I'm at on the screen, what I could do is I could add some coordinates to the click command. The way that I would find the coordinates is to use a program that comes with AutoHotKey called Window Spy. Window Spy, when it's activated, will tell you information about where your mouse is on the window or anywhere on the screen that it happens to be. We're going to go ahead and start with the window coordinates, which you can see right here. And then when I'm over here, it's about 193, 326. Should get me back over here to click on the cookie. 193, 326. So 193, 326 and 10. Now if I hit save here, and I'm going to go ahead and minimize the window spy, I'm going to reload the script, and here, now when I click over here, and this will obviously just click the cookie. Now I'm over here, when I press the numpad div, you can see that no matter where my mouse is on the screen, it's going to snap back over to the cookie and click it 10 times. Now, if I wanted to use this to right click on the cookie, which I'll show you an example of that. There's not really a whole lot that I would actually want to do that for in this game, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the right mouse button now. So if I were to type right after the click command, so click right 193 through 26, and I'm not going to click 10 times this time, we're just going to click one time. Save that, reload it. Now no matter where I'm at in this window, I should be able to press the same button and trigger a right click at that location. I could follow this by an immediate left click on something like say the uh, refresh key. Um, which I would just want to add a, a, another click over here and select that coordinate within that window and we would uh, click refresh. 
Now, in here we can see that that is this example right here. Uh, double clicks can be simulated by clicking twice at any location. What we'll go over now is the down and up commands, as these would be useful if you're trying to do things like move things around uh, on your desktop. So we'll go ahead and open up a test folder that I've created and our folder in which the script lives. I'm going to create a new text document. I'm not going to do anything with it. We're just going to leave it the way it is right now. All right, so the first thing to note is that we are right now using the default coordinate mode. And that is going to be window. What we're going to want to do is use the screen coordinate mode. And so we're going to go, I'm going to show you here in the help, in the help file. This command that we're going to use here is called chord mode. We're going to use chord mode to change our mouse. And we're going to change the chord mode for the mouse to be relative to the screen. Now, this is a lot of uh, information and you don't really need to know anything except that what we need to do is start this here, mouse and screen. And now this again has set our coordinate mode for the mouse to the screen instead of the window. Now what we're going to try and do is move our text document here over to our test folder. So I'm going to again bring up our window spy and we should be able to see on the screen where our new text document is. It's at 312, 312. So we can change this to click down 312, 312. So this will click the button down and then we want to drag it over to here. So 958, 314. Click up 958, 314. So when I say this, what I should see is our, our text document move from here to there when I fire this script by again clicking on, or pressing on the vision symbol on the number pad. There you have it, move it from one spot to another. Now let's say I want to move it back. I'm going to go ahead and set up a new hotkey, numpad mult, which is the multiplication symbol on the number pad. Click, actually, I'm going to save myself some typing here. I'm going to hit this right here. I'm going to copy this right here. Return. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the places. So we're going to move it from here to here with div, and multiplication is going to move it from here to here. So I'm going to hit save on this, and we will reload the script here. So now I should be able to press uh, the multiplication key to move it over here, div symbol, multiplication symbol, division symbol, multiplication symbol, division symbol. So you can see instead of clicking and dragging, I can simply press the two buttons to move these uh, move this item between these two different windows. Another uh, trick that you can use the mouse, uh, the click command with, is that click actually will let you use the mouse wheel. So W U or wheel up, W D or wheel down, wheel left or wheel right will basically simulate the same thing as scrolling down or up or left or right with your mouse wheel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change these for div. I'm going to change div to be wheel down and we'll set a value of five clicks. Click wheel up five. So I'm going to hit file save on this and we're going to reload it. So down will be div up will be mult. So I'm going to press numpad div, multiplication, div, mult, div, mult, div, mult. And this can be useful if you're just trying to set up a hotkey to uh, maybe read without using your mouse or uh, anything else that you might be able to come up with. Uh, there's some remarks over down here. Uh, you can see that it's preferred over mouse click. Um, there are different things about send mode and different ways. So if what you're doing isn't working, you might want to look into send mode. 
Um, send doesn't automatically release modifier keys. This is really all just some technical stuff that might come into handy if you are writing a big script or a script that does some very specific stuff and it doesn't start working. I'd always suggest checking the remarks in the help file. And then there are some related commands and then some examples. The examples are always really great in these files because they give you just some real easy to understand types of uh, examples of these commands. So I think that's about it for the click command. Hopefully this is helpful for you and will allow you to start automating some of your daily tasks.